Eliezer, Abraham's servant, is off finding a wife for Isaac and he comes tromping out of the desert to this well in Aram Narayim. Picture an oasis with camels and tinkling bells and a well. The well was the singles bar of the time. A lot of famous Jewish guys met their wives down at the well, so that's where Eliezer went to find a nice girl. Anyway, he makes this condition in his head. He's thinking, whichever girl gives water to me and to my caravan, that's the girl for Isaac. We all do that, except... In this case, it worked. Rebecca runs up and she starts slapping water to his caravan. And we're not talking one camel here, we're talking ten camels. And ten camels drink a lot. Ten thirsty camels could pretty much drain the whole darn well. So Rebecca isn't spindly. Nah, she's strong. She looks more like your local auto mechanic. And here's the thing. One commentary says that at the time, she was three years old. How old was Isaac? Well, he was forty. Nowadays, that kind of thing will get you jail time. Serious cradle snatching. The Torah says that we are born like wild asses, and that means that we are born basically selfish and stubborn and need a lot of training to remember to get Auntie Mildred a birthday present or to take out the garbage without a lot of hints. Think about a little baby. Ah, cute! But actually, all they do is cry and sleep and eat and make dirty diapers. You need to do everything for them and they get... Pretty snippy if you don't do it right away. They don't do much for anyone else besides occasionally throwing up on your shoulder. For most of us, learning how to be kind takes at least 15, 20 years, and for some of us it takes even longer than that. Most small children barely notice other people's feelings. If another little kid swipes your jug of water when you're three, you might be inclined to bop him one. Let's get back to Eliezer. Eliezer's main condition was not that the girl be pretty or rich, his main consideration was that she should be kind. When Eliezer saw Rebecca bringing jug after jug of water to his camels, he was amazed. Not only was she kind, but she was just a little kid. If she was this kind when she was three, when she was just learning how to notice other people, imagine how kind she'd be when she was 15. To become truly kind, we need to take a breath and look around and realize there are other people in the world, people who could use our help. We may not be able to be like a Rebecca, bringing water for ten camels with a loving heart at the age of three, because that was her first reaction, kindness. It was fundamental to her being. Not many of us could claim that. We might be more like a Yankel Schmendrick, bringing pizza to our buddies because we want a slice or a pat on the back. But if every time you do a little more than is expected, then you'll be well on the way to becoming a Rebecca.